A 7 News update, a bill that would ban most abortions at six weeks into a pregnancy is headed to Governor McMaster's desk. The Senate gave the final approval last night after hours of debate. Senators voted 27 to 19, agreeing with changes the House made. It bans abortions after a fetal heartbeat is detected. That's usually around six weeks. Critics argue that's before most women know they're pregnant. The ban has some exceptions for rape or incest, the health of the mother, and fatal fetal anomalies. The South Carolina Supreme Court struck down a similar law in January, ruling it was unconstitutional. I'm confident in the changes that we made in the legislation that uh, we addressed the concerns that were outlined in the, in the, the, the opinions that were out there. I, we haven't targeted this at all based on the new makeup of the court. The idea of changing the legislation was done to address the concerns that were raised. This is not what we, you know, asked for. There are changes. There were changes in, uh, you know, judicial bypass. There were changes on in other issues. There were changes in the definitions. So it's not what we voted on before. That's not what we agreed on. And you can't change what you agree on and bring it back. And then we, we barely debated it today. Governor Henry McMaster tweeted last night that he will sign the legislation as soon as possible. Legal challenges to the law are expected. As for those legal challenges, the state's attorney general, Alan Wilson, released a statement saying, quote, we've defended the right to life in court before and we are ready and prepared to do it again if necessary. Meanwhile, Planned Parenthood says we will not stand by while politicians put people's lives in danger and take away fundamental human rights. So we say to the state of South Carolina, we will see you in court.